irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to LA Talk Radio. You're listening to the Sheena Metal Experience with your host, Sheena Metal, right here on LA Talk Radio. That's right. It's the Sheena Metal Experience right here on LA Talk Radio. For more info on the show, latalkradio.com, sheenametalexperience.com. Don't forget to email me and let me know what you think of the show. If you're looking for me on social media, it's so easy. I'm just at Sheena Metal everywhere. I'm also the founder of a movement of peace and love and kindness and unity. We're at IamRaisingTheVibration.com and at our new nonprofit hub, which is RaisingTheVibration.org. We also have a wonderful online community at TheVibrationNation.com and a new blog and vlog site that's at AVibrationNation.com. Uh, please go and check all of those out. And, of course, my spiritual practice is at IamRaisingYourVibration.com and at my new site being built at Sheena metalspiritual.com sometimes here on the sheena metal experience we do special broadcasts that i like to call light workers unite where i get together with another of my fellow light workers or sometimes more than one and we do on-air readings healing some spiritual counseling helping anything we can do for you throughout the course of the show and we're doing that today here on the sheena metal experience and my guest returning to the show and who's also done a light workers unite before with me the wonderful alex may is here how are you my friend i'm amazing how are you i'm well, i love you it's great to have you here thank you uh we met doing a charity event we did that we'll probably be doing again in april yeah at lux pause and um it's interesting the wonderful people that you meet through charity events mm -hmm. that then become your friends mm -hmm. and here we are on the radio oh look at that and you were here with me before and it was the first time because we're on facebook live hi facebook live hello it was the first time that people could really watch you do your thing. <laughs> it's much different to watch you in your actual process. Right. It's true. Because you kind of go to another place. I, I do. <laughs> yeah. Your <laughs> eyes kind of roll back a little bit like the shark from Jaws. Oh, yeah. And, for and sure, you're, yeah. you're out in another place. I, I, yeah, I do go somewhere when I work on people. It's interesting because sure. I grew up as an actor, so... I all that's going on inside of me, but I'm like, hey, here's what's going on because I'm used to covering what's yeah. going on inside of me. Yeah, I kind of like that you just let it fly. I do. I, maybe I should get. Maybe I should. Maybe I should let my insides more on my outsides when I read for people. Maybe you should let me work on you one day. I would love for you to work <laughs> on me someday. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to move some stuff around inside of me? Yeah. Are you just dying to get in there and move <laughs> yeah. some stuff around? Most people that I meet, they're like, "Oh my god, I can't wait to hang out with you." And I'm thinking, like, "God, I can't wait to work on this person at some point." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And I always feel like, because I'm always crawling around empathically in people, I'm always like, I can't wait to get you alone for a couple hours and tell you what, I, what the universe really thinks about you, which is almost always in a good way. Yeah, I don't mean sure. like, I can't wait to get you alone. I'm going to tell you what that universe thinks. But I think sometimes as we are doing so much good for others, we're not valuing ourselves enough. Sure. And we forget as light workers to actually listen to messages about us. Well, the thing about self-care, which is so important, um, being able to take care of yourself, taking time for yourself, yeah. listening to messages for yourself to fill yourself back up, you know, is very important. I love the apartment that I live in right now and my roommates because I don't even have to ask them. They give me so much love and space and Isn't respect. That nice? Yeah, I love my roommates so much. That's so wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's so important to love where you are. Yeah, to, I love it. To love it. your home base. I woke up today and I had no issues, no problems. My friend Sarita Morgan came over and we did a bars exchange, which is one of the techniques I'm certified in. And it was just like, I just feel like I'm in probably one of the best living spaces I've ever been in in my it's life. so beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I, I, I was just talking to my, my friend was on Haunted Playground today, which is my a weekly spiritual paranormal show. And she was saying... Uh, where we do the same format. She was saying, oh, when I used to let clients come to my house, and I was like, wait, I can't let people come to my house. <laughs> I, I don't want clients. To, I mean, I love my clients so much, but my space is for me and the cat. Yeah. Like, that's how I, that's how I, because I have so much energies I deal with in the world every day. Yeah. And I have to go back to a place where I really can just recharge. Thank you for saying that. With the that. cat, who's like a living battery. Yeah, you have to, you have to have those recharge days, which is what I wasn't doing that before, and now in the space that I live in now, I, I can just recharge so easily. Like I have my birthday on Sunday and 
my friends and I, we just stayed up and we watched movies. I love that. And I didn't feel tired, even though I was like up till 3, 4 a.m. in the morning because my living space is so nurturing. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I don't feel drained. Yeah. Isn't that nice? It's lovely. Okay. So a couple of things. If you want to get on the air with us, uh, here's what you do. It's so easy. You have to text me because of how our Skype system works. So send me a text message, 818-437-0886. Yes, I just gave out my private cell number, 818-437-0886. And let me know your name and your number and that you're looking for an on-air reading and I will put you on my list. The other thing is, is that you're going to see a lot of this today. Me staring at the phone and staring when Alex is talking, staring when the callers are talking. (laughs) I'm not being unpleasant or rude. I'm not like, oh, my God, let's go out and eat later with friends. What's happening is, is people are texting me for readings. I'm putting them in the system. I'm running the board. I'm picking up the Facebook link and putting it everywhere so more people can call in. So a lot of things are going on. So just just it's okay and don't worry about it. And I still love you. And I'm going to look at the camera as much as I can. Because that's important. <laughs> and Alex, you were so wonderful to do one of these first ones with me oh, when it was still new and when we you. were still, um, you know, I was still trying to figure out how to do 17 things at once. Now I know how those how people play those big drum kits that have like <laughs> the five toms and the rota toms that come up here and they've got they're working the chimes in the back and the gong over here and you know cymbals here and here. Now I understand. That's what I do. Right. Can't play a drum kit, but I can do this. So. Right. You know, you got to be able to do what you can do. I never could. I learned I played drums for years in school and I can I can get to the point where I can do two things at once. Mm. But when the third thing comes in, Mm. I'm done. (laughs) But yet I can do 17 things here and be fine. (laughs) Life is strange, right? Okay, one more time. 818-437-0886. That's 818-437-0886. One more thing. Um, If you've been on with us before in the last month, you might not make it this time because there's so many folks that haven't been on. And they're trying to get on. And we have to give everybody a chance because that's only fair. And as I mentioned during Haunted Playground, I'm sadly or fantastically the queen of fairness. Queen of fairness. I am so about the fair. <sighs> um, and there, and life isn't fair. So if life isn't fair, Alex, I can be. <laughs> Something has to be fair. We're going to get Nikki on the phone right now. We're going to get Nikki on and we're going to start the helping and healing right away. Uh, so much little time wasted now that I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, you're such a wonderful person to have here. Oh, thank you for having me. Because I think our reading styles are so different, but our hearts are so the same. They are. That it's beautiful because people <laughs> get a variety, but they get the same energy flowing at them. Yeah. I like that. Nikki, welcome to the show, my friend. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Uh, wonderful. It's so great to have you here. How may we help you today? Say hi to Alex. Hi. Hello, darling. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just getting out of the car. I have my dog with me, so if you can't oh. hear me, I apologize. That's okay. We hear you great, and we love the dog, so we, we don't mind if we hear the dog, too. <laughs> we love dogs. Thank you. Um, I Actually, I'm super excited. This is my first time. Um, I actually was looking forward to ask me if you would be able to give me a reading or if any of my family members who just recently passed have been trying to reach me because I've talked to other uh, psychics and re- they gave me readings and they told me that my grandfather is always watching me, but my grandmother has been trying to reach me, but she can't. And I'm just a little confused on that because it's been almost two years now and I haven't heard or seen her. Well, I, so think- I just was wondering... I think they're both, she's trying to contact you, but for some reason you're not getting the signs, sweetheart. She doesn't, she's not so into, she was kind of a no-nonsense lady, right? So she's not so into like using psychics and mediums to get to you. She's trying to contact you directly. Um, Your grandfather's more happy to go through a third party. Your grandma's not so into that. But she's trying to get you to notice her and you're not looking at the signs. So I don't know if you're a little scared or you just want to see her so badly that you're not seeing the signs, but she's definitely showing you signs all the time. Can you think of what those signs are? Um, well, since she died, I've been seeing, because I'm a little bit of clairvoyant, so I was always able to hear and see, but lately I haven't. And I always could hear someone walking around, um, but I think it was a couple months prior to her, her dying. I was in the, her house, and you're sitting down, you're watching TV, and everybody in the room except me heard her voice 
call my name, Nikki, into the kitchen, and the dog ran, but I didn't hear anything, so that might be a sign, but we weren't sure because in her house, it wasn't a good friend living in there. Mm -hmm. Um, We've been trying to have someone, you know, come in and just kind of banish it away, Mm -hmm. and since she died, we all feel that it follows us, and it's just not a good aura. So I'm not sure if that's kind oh. of pushing oh. her oh. away from talking to me. Yes. That, that, well, it's coming in between you and she talking. Alex? I got I got you. What's, what is your name again, darling? Nikki? Nikki. 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 Are you sitting in a comfortable position? I am. What is the uh, city and state location of where this kind of like entity thing is located? <laughs> we both felt it at the same time. Yeah, and went, oh, yeah, God, yeah. that thing. That's um, what it is. <laughs> North Lake, Illinois. All right. Go ahead and close your eyes. I'm about to go in. Good. Here he comes. Okay. Help's on the way. Nikki, do I have permission to do healing work on you? Of course. State the city and state of where you are, where the entity is located. I'm in Deerfield, Illinois. The entity is located in North Lake, Illinois. Got it. But I always feel it with me. Got it. Creator, it is commanded to connect Nikki to the light. I am speaking on behalf of Nikki. I understand God. I understand unconditional love. I understand the universe. Oh, there it is. Um, I am an entity from the family history. Correct. Um, I wish ill will on Nikki. No. I wish to give her a message. Yes. Okay, so this isn't going to make any sense, but just try to follow with me, okay? Of course. Certain entities or belief systems or energies are existing to show us a lesson. So this entity Mm -hmm. looks like a shroud, kind of like either a death shroud that someone wears over their face or a shroud to cover them. Um, and so this, oh my god yeah so, yeah so this, i've seen it yes yeah, so, oh, there yeah, it is so this entity is covering you now because it came in because it wanted to protect you from your abilities until you were ready to choose it so i just want to clear all the fear around entities demons uh things of the unknown mm-hmm. let's go ahead and just clear that out of you And I'm just going to check in real quick just to make sure I um, subconsciously am using this entity to protect myself from my own capacities. Yes. Um, this entity's job is done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So creator, it is commanded to clear any shroud of doubt, shroud of death, anything covering Nikki's awareness, her pineal gland, her third eye, her thymus to be sent to the light, core level, genetic level, history level, soul level. Hail your master cell pineal gland. Thank you. Show me all life times, all dimensions, all realms, mitochondria of the cells. Thank you. Show me. Woo! Woo! Glory to Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it is done. It is done. <laughs> Replace this with unconditional love, freedom from pain and suffering and show Nikki what that feels like. Creator, it is commanded to instill the feeling of, I trust my clairvoyancy, I trust my awareness, I trust my psychic abilities, I trust the fact that I can see all kinds of energies, entities, different dimensions. Nikki, do I have permission to unlock that limiting belief system inside of you so you can become more clairvoyant? Of course. Creator, it is commanded to clear the bottom belief of, I can only see a limited amount to be sent to the light. Well, this is a hot potato. Mm-hmm. It is done. Mm-hmm. It is done. Replace this with unconditional love, freedom from pain and suffering, and show Nikki what that feels like. Adverse, inverse, gold and silver into the DNA and the RNA of Nikki, reactivating and activating pre-existing abilities and capacities from within. Take a deep breath into your belly, into your solar plexus, into your power center, and exhale. 
take another deep breath exhale now imagine that your energy is expanding out as big as the city now it's expanding out as big as the state now it's expanding out as big as the planet now imagine that your energetic field is expanding as big as the universe oh yeah mm. there we go now just feel what that feels like don't say anything take a moment take a pause feel what it feels like to be at one with oneness okay Whew. creator it is commanded to integrate everything in the session shower off an iridescent bright light you are back inside of your head your toes your fingers we are back inside of our head our toes our fingers Head, toes, fingers, head, toes, fingers, head, toes, fingers. Creator is commanded to integrate everything in this session. Oh. How's that? I feel fantastic. <laughs> How about you, Nikki? Uh, I think I got healed, too. That was too. amazing. Yeah. You asked earlier, so. I did, didn't I? Did. I did. I, I said it was okay. You can crawl around inside okay. me and fix stuff. <laughs> you, have, you, have my, you have my permission. Whenever you want, to just crawl around in there and fix stuff. <laughs> Go in my crawl space and fix everything. <laughs> Um, okay, so now that Alex has done that wonderful work, now start looking for the signs from Grandma. Because now you're going right. to see it. Right. It's just, I, you know what I mean? I could feel, I don't know who is with me. It's just I know someone is with me, but I don't know who it is. Trust yourself. Yes. You know? Yeah. Trust, trust yourself. Because you know what? Um all that I'm doing is unlocking and God is unlocking and you are unlocking what is already pre-existing from within. Right. So all you have to do is choose it and you'll know it's okay. like, it's like sharpening a broadsword. You know, you got to sharpen it before you go mm -hmm. in for the kill or yeah. sharpening a knife before cooking, you know? You right. Know, yeah. That, that's exactly it. She, she was just a little she was a kind soul. Yeah. She, she was straight to the lady. point, you yeah. know, mm. and she died on weird circumstances. And yeah. she warned us about the thing that was in her house and yep. it came from, you know, exactly what you said, Alex, from family mm. in the past. Mm -hmm. And I talked to many other psychics and I brought it up and saying it was a shapeshifter and be careful. Mm. And it just, I would, I'm wearing um, a pink stone necklace next to my cross just to stay safe. Good. Because days I would wake up to bruises and scratches. Sure. I've been there. I grew up in a house know. like that. Has it been, uh, you have a rose quartz? Is that what you're wearing? Exactly. I'm yeah. a gold good. necklace. Good. Good. And you, if you would do me a big favor, um, especially when you're in that house, get some black tourmaline, a piece mm. of black tourmaline that you can wear on your person mm -hmm. and a piece of selenite mm -hmm. that you can wear on your person. And then take the selenite and put it under your pillow at night when you sleep mm -hmm. and let it clean you while you sleep. Mm -hmm. Because this thing, like Alex said, it's, it's very jealous because it doesn't want anyone to communicate with anything or anyone but it because it's very um, right. attention starved. So it's blocking you from being able to communicate directly with your grandparents because yes. it's attention starved. And since we just cleared right. it. But it shows it. It doesn't show itself, I and mean, then it does, and I'll take pictures, and I'll find orbs, and it's like a demon face. Like, it's mm. a creepy face yeah, trying in to the corner you. of my room yeah, sometimes. So and negative. Just, and yeah. I don't understand why it's not, you know what I mean? It's jealous. Like, it's okay. So it's, since I feel like it's watched me since I was a child. Yeah, so since like, we... That's how I feel. Since we've cleared the fear around it, yeah. you don't have to be afraid of it. Now you know that right. you know what you know. Also... The another thing that helps is the next time that you see it, you need to be very clear with it and say, this is my body. This is my house. Yeah. It's not yours. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a very simple exactly. way. Exactly. I say yeah, that. It's, very, yeah. it's a very simple way. And sometimes you have to be scary about it. You know, it's like, it's like, this is my body. This is my house. You are no longer allowed here. You know, sometimes I like to say, this is my vessel. Clearly, it's not your vessel. Mm -hmm. you yeah. know? <laughs> exactly. Get out of my vessel. Get out of that vessel. <laughs> vessel thief. <laughs> yeah, and just and also lots of white light prayers. You just ask for the white light to surround you. Ask for the golden light to surround you, the purple light to surround yep. you. And just say, I'm asking for the protection of the white light. Please, white light, please protect me and surround me and keep me from harm. It's amazing how much a little bit of universal light 
will scare off something because this thing's creepy and it's it's ugly. It's ugly on the inside and on the right. in, on the outside, but it's not dangerous per se unless you feed into it and let him it impede your own happiness and your own health, like you know stopping you from sleeping or stressing you out. I mean, that's the only damage it can do. It's it's not going to hurt you in any other way. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's good to know. Yeah. And and now look for your grandma, sweetie, because she wants to get by and talk to you in the worst way. And you are so wonderful, and we appreciate you. And thank you so much for being a part of the show today. And keep us posted. Let us know how things are going, because we want to know how you're doing so much. Well, we're starting off with a bang, my friend. Uh, we're not messing around, are we? <laughs> no. We're starting. We're starting right out with a with a scary entity. Get it, girl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can do other <laughs> things. Like with Pam today, it was all people that just needed love and light, and I get you in here for five seconds. And suddenly a scary pig-faced demon entity is all up in us. I wonder why. <laughs> what a shocker. I blame oh, Alex. Demon, is that okay? Demon clearer extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Joanne's up next. Uh, we'll have to see what lives in her grandma's basement. Um, and she didn't say it lived in the basement, but I think it lives in the basement. I think it's in the basement. It's in the basement. <laughs> it's in the basement. We're going to get Joanne on right now. If you want to get on the air with us, 818-437-0886. Text me your name and number, and we will get you on the air. 818-437-0886. That's how it works, just like we're going to get Joanne on the air right now. It's the Sheena Metal Experience at LA Talk Radio today, a special broadcast I like to call Light Workers Unite. Look for us also on Facebook Live. You can see us there. You can hear us on latalkradio.com. And we're going to be helping and healing and doing readings and counseling and love all day long, uh, all, all till, till 7 o'clock tonight here on the show. Welcome to the show, Joanne. How are you? I am good. How are you, Sheena? Wonderful. It's so good to hear your voice. It's good to hear your voice, too. <laughs> Uh, what 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 can I do for you, my friend? How can I'll say hi to Alex and how can we help you? Hi, Alex. Hello, darling. Um, well, you know, I actually have talked to you before on um, uh, oh, Rebecca's show. I can't think of her name now. Rebecca's show. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And I'm the one that um, ended up in jail <laughs> um, on the second of January, and my life has kind of been not so good yeah um up until then but now it does i seem to be trying to get past you know not letting the negative or negative stuff seep in um because that was a problem for a while yes it just seemed like it followed me around yeah um so i just kind of want to know what my next you know this next year is going to be like and um are things going to you know, get better. And of course, let me just say this really quick before I turn you over to Alex, because I can tell he's raring to go. Um, <laughs> sometimes in our in our so I always I always describe our time incarnate as soul school, and each lifetime is like a semester of say soul it again. school. Soul school, oh. and each each semester each each life is like a semester of soul school. Oh. So if you're in second grade, the lessons are going to be much easier than they are if you're in 10th grade or if you're doing a master's degree. Um, when you get to the end of the term, as it happens in school, you the, the lessons and all the hard stuff builds up. And when you pass all that hard stuff, then you move to the next level. So you have to think that there are times in your life that are almost like finals where there's all these tests, they're all coming at one time. The universe is just literally like spinning plates, throwing one thing at you, the next thing, the next thing. And it feels like you don't know what to do. And sometimes things happen, you know, bankruptcies and uh, credit problems and jail and legal stuff and health stuff and breakdowns. And Mm -hmm. when you push past that place, then there's a feeling where you can actually really exhale and you're ready to move on to the next level of your enlightenment and involvement and this has been that period for you of a lot of crazy stuff love being thrown at you i think i told you this a little bit when i was on rebecca's show with you lots of crazy stuff coming at you and you feeling like how in the world am i ever going to survive this and the best news in the world love is you survived it you're not calling me from the county jail you're not calling me from a federal (laughs) prison you're here and you're you're a free woman and things are going to get better now because you survived that that batch of lessons and you're going to be okay. Mm-hmm. So right. remember that. Remember that that's, that's what it's about sometimes. When you don't understand what the reason is, sometimes the reason just is 
human beings grow better when they have something to push against to learn. Alex? Okay. The universe will send you curveballs all the time. Oh, yeah. For you to either learn a lesson or if you don't learn the lesson, it will throw it back at you harder. So just look yeah. at this time as a time for you to evolve. Now, do you mind if I ask uh, what happened on January 2nd before I do the clearing? <laughs> no, it's fine. It, it, it wasn't anything like, you know, huge. It just was kind of at the end of a really rough two years where it just seemed like, and she even asked me, are you waiting for the other shoe to drop? And, yeah. <laughs> and I told her, I'm waiting for the whole store to drop on me, you know. Okay. Um, but I uh, went to work on the second. I came home, or I was on my way home, and I kind of, I kind of didn't stop, stop at truly stop at a stop sign. So I got stopped. Well, unbeknownst to me, I had a warrant out for my arrest from something that had happened a year before. Mm-hmm. Um, but with all the moves and everything I had done, I had missed a court date because oh. I didn't get it. Oh. Um, so I ended up in jail for like 13 hours, and um, my friends came and bailed me out, and mm-hmm. and um, I've since gone to court, and I'm making payments to the court. Um, and the good news is I have a job, and I have some place to live now and it's good so it just it just seems like you know sometimes the world with the lessons kind of life kind of gets you down and then just beats the crap out of you yes. you know yeah so, um, yeah you have to think of it like when it beats the crap out of you you have to think of it like a coach really training somebody to be ready to be in the Olympics. You have to think right. of it as it's beating you right. up but for a good reason as opposed to a negative thing right. that just beats you up to be mean right that's yeah right about right and i i have felt that way the last few years is you know these are lessons and that i need to learn them and so i always ask god you know because i need i need big signs um to see i don't take the little you know i don't understand the little signs so um i do understand that it's just you know you get to that point where it's like really (laughs) Can do I have to do this again? You know, or can I do it again? Right. But I'm feeling better now. Well, the underlying um, thing going on is that there's still imprinting left over from January second in the cells of your body that's like holding you back. So let's just go ahead and clear that out. Let's do it for the love of God. Okay. What's your, What's your name again? <laughs> Joanne. 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 <laughs> okay. Are you seated in a comfortable position, Joanne? I am. Go ahead and close your eyes. Creator, it is commanded to clear all of the imprinting and patterning of everything that happened on January 2nd, of having to find out that you had a warrant um, out for you and you didn't know the shock of knowing that, the shock of having to go to jail for having to be in jail for 13 hours. Clear any embarrassment, uh, guilt, or shame, and any stress or shock that happened to you in the mitochondria of the cells of your body, red blood cells, white blood cells, muscle tissues, fatty tissues, the brain, the nervous system, to be sent to the light, the organs, core, liver, genome. Creator, it is commanded to open a new path for her. Mm. DVM red, DVM orange, DVM yellow, DVM green, DVM blue, DVM indigo, DVM violet. Connecting her into the ley lines in the earth. I want to see you sinking into the earth. You are sinking down into the earth. You will see fossils, roots, soil. Keep going. Fossils, roots, and soil. Fossils, roots, and soil. Until you reach the core of the earth, what is the color of the core that you are seeing in front of you? 
red. Mmm, you know what red <laughs> is? You hit the core. Red is the color of <laughs> prosperity in Chinese medicine. Oh. Well, look at that. So go ahead and extend your hand and touch the core and connect to the energy of prosperity. Let it course through your veins, your blood, your DNA, into your brain, into your organs, into every fiber of your being and feel what prosperity feels like. Now come back up, pull that energy with you out of the ley lines, the veins of the earth, back up into your body. You are coming back up into your body, coming back up into this space. Back up into your body, back up into this space, back up into your body. Take a deep breath in your belly and exhale. Take one last deep, deep, deep breath in. And as you exhale, open your eyes. Ta-da! How's that feel, sweetie? <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, it does. It feels good. It feels like I'm letting things go and and not waiting. I have a couple for of the things. next thing to hit me. I have a couple of things to tell you. So one thing, okay. one thing that I heard from the Earth is that every single day, it can be a simple prayer. It can be a simple acknowledgement. But as soon as you wake up, as soon as you open your eyes, I want you to start giving gratitude to everything that you have. Beautiful. It can be your body. It can be your job. It can be the place you live. It can be any. It can be the food that you're going to. It can be anything. Because what the earth is saying is if you really want to receive more from your life and move forward, you have to be grateful for what you have and what the earth and what the universe is sending to you because it's coming. Absolutely. Okay. The other thing I want to tell you is that the universe is very incredible and it'll give you everything you want, but it'll make you hold your breath for a second. So don't be afraid mm -hmm. of those times where you hold your breath. Remember that this is just yeah. a moment. That's all it is. Just like with Sheena and I, this is just a moment. It's right. going to pass, and then something else is going to happen. So just embrace them. That's all. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And and don't wait for and, the other shoe to drop, I, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. No. And and I'm I'm kind of past that. It just and and I try to. I shouldn't say. You know, I've I've picked up on that that. You know, I've always landed on my feet, yes. no matter what has happened. So I am. I'm very grateful. Um, and I, I'm letting go of that stuff, you know. Um, it just, it got a little much at the, <laughs> at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. And um, after talking to you and Rebecca, you know, I, I have been doing that. I've been wearing pink and light pink good. and good um just good. you know yeah get a nice big, my prayers to nice my big angels quartz and... crystal for amplifying everything positive that you're doing okay what um pink quartz uh, uh rose quartz, quartz is wonderful for love but i like quartz because it sort of charges the intention of everything you're doing you require clarity okay get the clearest quartz crystal yep. that you can find yep for sure okay yeah, I would okay. love that. And, that sounds good. And, okay. uh, and, and, and mostly just take care of you, sweetie. Keep doing the work you're doing and, and keep us posted. Let us know how you're doing because you're doing so beautiful. And we're so proud of you. Thank you so much for the call. We're sending you so much love. Wow. We're not, we don't have easy ones, right? We went right from demon in the basement to client in jail. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie Welcome, poopsie. Alex May, everybody. Whoopsie poopsie. Uh, if you want to get on the air with us, it's so easy. You just send me a text. It's uh, 818-437-0886. That's 818-437-0886. Make sure to include your name, and I will make sure to get you on the air with us.
because you know how much I love that. All right, we're going to get uh, Jamie on the air now in just seconds. And uh, we're all over Facebook now. The links are everywhere, so you can find us and you can get on with us. And uh, here we go. We're going to do this quick here. Um, wow, what great callers so far, right? Oh, yeah. Just amazing, my friend. And you're fantastic, everything that you do to clear people. And Thank you. It's very wonderful. I appreciate being on the show. Oh, my God, you're always welcome on the show. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. You know, for some reason, I'm not getting um, Jamie in my system, and I know I put her in. Mm. So we may take somebody else, and then, and then we we'll get Jamie in a minute. So Jamie, hang tight. We're gonna um, we're gonna get somebody else in, and then uh, okay. So we're gonna let Nicola know that she's up next. Sending her a text right now, and then Jamie, hang tight. I'll put you in the system, and then we'll get you in right after that. The nice thing is about this, I think, that programming everybody in is that we know who we're going to get before we talk to them. Yeah. It's not like we're just randomly picking up the phone and it could be like, oh, sorry, wrong number or, yeah, you know, yeah, that kind of, that's a little crazy when it gets like that. Yeah. Do you do a lot of stuff like this? Hmm? Do you do a lot of stuff like this? No. Really? No. That surprises me because you're so talented. Oh, thank you, darling. I would think that everybody would be falling all over themselves. Um, they, I do a lot of phone sessions, um, but you are the first to invite me to a radio show, actually. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I love that story. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. I, even though at this time, everybody that I put into my system isn't there. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with that or why that's happening, but you know what? Well, we did do a lot of clearing, so it probably... Is that what happened? Sometimes sometimes clearings can affect uh, technical, <laughs> te- technical things. Okay, so so here we go. So we're going uh, to get Linda with us, because Linda I actually can find. So we're going to get Linda on the phone, and then we will get Linda with us, and then we will make sure to get the other girls in the system. <laughs> I put everybody in the system before the show. Alex was right here. Mm. Uh, it's that crazy technology isn't always your friend. Mm. It's a crazy thing. So um, I can't, be- can't believe you've never done this anymore before. You're made to do this. I, you know, you know, uh, you were talking about being an actor and everything. And, yeah. you know, being on camera is very natural for me. Yes, you're wonderful on camera. Thank you. So I am embracing that now. You know, it's a part of me that I kind of repressed for a very long time because I had a lot of judgments about being on camera. Who knows where that came from? Possibly the family. Oh, okay. (laughs) Okay. Ancestral, you know. Sure. All of that. Or you could call it a fear of being seen. All right. Uh, That seems a bit more lighter. That's I understand that. Being seen for who you really are. Yeah, being seen for who you are. Maybe being worried that people will both love you and hate you. And sure. then um, the thing is, is that people are going to think what they think, mm-hmm. but it's for you. Your reality is your experience, mm-hmm. you know? So it's like, it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. I completely agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but everybody I put in the system here isn't in the system here. So. Mm. We're gonna um we're gonna figure out what this is really quick and everybody bear with us and we're gonna make this work. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. You're so unfazed. You're so you're just completely unfazed by the whole thing. Oh, I just love being here. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't like I'm I r- the very first time I came here I said something to myself at the door before I walked in. I said I don't care if no one calls in or if a ton of people call in. I just love the fact that I get to hang out with Sheena. Aww. I love that about you. Yeah, and just like talk about fun things, and here I am, you know. I love that. Okay, so it looks like we've got Diane in the system, so let's try to get her up. And I may actually do something that I almost never do live on the air, which is actually let you hear the phone ringing, just to make sure everything's fine with the uh, with the phone. So let's let's give this a try. Here we go. Let's see. We're gonna listen, so we find out what's if everything's all right here. Oh my God! It's like a rocket's taking off. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this lovely sound <laughs> of like the dance. And this is why I turn this down while this is happening. <laughs> because first you get the boop boop, then you get the little dancing thing. Sometimes Skype does have some issues. So, Diane, can you hear us? Hello? 
Diane, are you with us? See, it's strange because there's nothing. Mm-hmm. So you would think if there was going to be Ooh. not anything, there would be nothing at all. So let's try Linda again. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's you'd think there would be a voicemail or a if the phone was answered, you'd be able to hear her. So here we go. We're gonna hear the dancing noises again. Boop 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 boop. Oh, there we go. Something's ringing. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected. <laughs> what? Linda doesn't live there anymore? (laughs) What's happening? (laughs) I think the thing from Nikki's basement is now here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to try to put, was it Sarah that we couldn't find? And I'm going to try to put Sarah in the system right now and see if, yeah, I do not have Sarah in the system, but I know I just put her in. So we're going to put, we're going to put Sarah in the system. So tell us something wonderful about um, about how your process works, Alex, while I do this. Um, so when working with people, yeah. Uh-huh. When working with people, like what we've seen you do tonight on the show. So I do many things. Um, one of my favorite techniques or modalities to use is called theta healing. And theta healing is really incredible because theta goes through different planes of existences to call upon certain energies so there's like the mineral kingdom the plant kingdom you know uh certain people will say well i really need like a quartz crystal to have clarity but you can actually call upon the energy of a quartz crystal from the mineral kingdom and imbue it actually into the dna and the rna of your body sure or Perhaps someone likes to smoke marijuana, but the smoke of the marijuana is too much. Maybe you could call upon the energy of the actual plant from the plant kingdom to calm your body down. Okay. Right. Sure. Um, And then there are other things that you can do. You know, there are certain planes of existences where you can clear entities and demons out of people, such as like the shamanic plane. You know, usually that's where those things exist. Um, and, uh, uh, there are other things beyond that, like time travel. <laughs> oh, you can take people through time travel when you work? Of course, of course. Actually, um. Of course he says, like course. everyone just does that. Of course. Well, actually time jumping happens very often. People just don't understand it or notice it because it's very subtle. Yes, that's it's, very true. It's not as overt as what people think like when they watch the movies or like stargate for example Mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite films Mm -hmm. um for example (laughs) um i've gotten it to a point now where if i'm going past like a yellow light and i hold my hand up and i just i'm not thinking about it and i go time stop it'll hold the light for at least four or five seconds wow and that didn't start happening until I started letting go of my limitations and my points of views about what time should be or what it should look like. It's also part of the reason why I look so young because I don't let, I don't hold on to like points of views about age or time limitations or anything like that. I mean, we could talk about it all day, you know? Yeah. I, I don't either. I don't, I just thought it was because I don't drink. (laughs) (laughs) What? When it, I mean, maybe I'm going to say this, and maybe I look really old, and somebody will go, "Oh God, we knew that." She knows I don't uh, but um, but I'm going to be 52 in a month. You look good, girl. Yeah, I look good, right? Yeah. And I thought it was just the no, no drinking, no booze, no smoking thing, but maybe it's actually that I'm a time jumper. Yeah. Yeah, I can do a weird thing. Uh, what, this what, is my weird thing that I can thing? do. What's your weird when thing? I wake up in the morning, I can tell you what time it is. Oh. Almost to the minute. Whoa. Just because I can, f- if I concentrate at any mm. time and I'm mm-hmm. not looking at the time, mm-hmm. I can feel the time and I can tell you what time it is. Wow. It's a strange thing because I believe that if you stay very planted to your core, very connected to the to the core of you, that you you can navigate time. You can. So you understand exactly where you are. You don't need a clock to know right where the universe is right at this moment mm-hmm. on the earth. Mm-hmm. You know where you are. So here's the fascinating thing about that subject is that time can be manipulated but the way that you manipulate time is by understanding that humans believe that it's real so since all of the humans on planet earth believe that it's real it is here so you acknowledge 
what I do is I go, I go, I acknowledge that time exists, okay? And I acknowledge that it exists within, within the karmic structure of right. the human reality. But once I acknowledge it, then I can manipulate it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's beautiful. You can't resist what persists, you know? Yes. If you want to have fun and you want to play with energy, you got to acknowledge what is solid if you want to make it lighter. Yes. So that's that's the funny thing about time you know that's absolutely true mm -hmm. yeah that's it yeah i mean i think so much of life is about being connected to your core it is and i think people don't realize they're so worried about being connected to things outside of them right they don't realize how important it is to be excited to be connected to your and core yeah and, and locked into the universe and also to add on to that a lot of people keep thinking that to meditate or to reach higher states, they have to leave the earth. Yes. A lot of people don't realize, like such as what I did with, with her earlier, Yeah. the core of the earth is a gateway. Sure. So when you talk about your core, everyone's core is tethered to the ley lines inside of the earth. Right. You know? So... It's kind of like a little bit of a misconception to think that things are higher or lower. It's more like about expansion. That's it. Have you ever seen a Taurus before? Yeah. So the Taurus goes like this. Yep. Right? Yep. So like if you're having fun or you're having like an orgasm or if you're like sad or whatever, the energy is actually always moving. Yes. Even when you contract. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. And it's, that's what it's about. It's so about being connected to the earth, yeah. connected to spirit, connected to yourself. Time. That's all you need. If yeah. you've got hooks everywhere and you're grounded, you're in good shape. Right. All right. We're going to try this again. Jamie, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. We've broken the Skype curse. We <laughs> Skype didn't like us for <laughs> 10 minutes. How are you, my friend? Welcome to the show. Oh. I'm good. I just want to, you know, apologize in advance if you hear dogs barking oh, no, or my kids good. screaming. I love dogs. I we love dogs. myself in my room. We oh. love dogs and kids. We want to hear barking and screaming. Say hi to Alex, my friend. <laughs> hi, Alex. Hello, darling. What can we do for you? Um, you know, I just, I've been kind of in a rut um, emotionally and, and physically, and I just want to know if you know if there's anyone around me that can give me some positivity and and kind of push me out of this rut because i you know i'm so busy all the time with these kids and, oh there we go there's one uh oh a kid snuck in <laughs> under the wire and <laughs> proof that they're and, a screaming uh, child I love that. <laughs> and so when sheena you know asked you know when I, I scrolled through and watched her her earlier she asked if I wanted to call in, so I thought I would. Yeah, and I'm sorry we couldn't get you on earlier, but I'm glad we have you now. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, I feel like, honey, like you give so much of yourself to everyone else. And because mm -hmm. you do that, you don't give enough to you. So you're not doing That's enough true. to take the energy that you put out. Not enough energy is coming into you. And a lot of why you feel the way right, you're feeling zero, right now. Yeah. yeah it's because zero motivation. You're yeah. right. You're not filling yourself up enough. Kids are lovely, mm -mm. but they take more than they give because they're kids and they're growing. Dogs, uh, the mm -hmm. dog should be giving you lots of energy. But I feel like even with adult humans in your life that you don't have to parent, although sometimes you do, um, there's a lot. You're, you're kind of the one that holds everything up and takes care of everyone. And you're not having enough things in your own life that sort of set your soul on fire in the most beautiful way. Yeah. Women are quite, quite incredible because they, they have so much power and they have so much potency. But what women do, what most men do as well, is they put things before them. And they have belief systems that make them believe that they have to put things before their own self-nurturing and yeah. self-care. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I want to ask you a question, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you in a comfortable position? Minus, um, minus the screaming child, are you, you pretty mean? comfortable? Are you sitting? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I can. <laughs> please, please have a seat. I'm having a seat. Mommy, I'm still hungry. Oh. Sorry. Mom, <laughs> mommy, I'm still hungry. Okay, maybe this isn't the best. Uh, mommy. The timing's not good. <laughs> you know what, sweetie? Why don't you try to call us another time when the timing's better? 
You take care of you, sweetheart. I will, because t- this, it's, yeah. Because somebody he, is he still hungry and, <laughs> and is not going to let that go. I'm talking to you. I'm talking <laughs> to you. Feed the child before the child dies. We love you. And now you see exactly what's going on. You need some time for you, sweetheart. So you just sort of, you just sort of prove to us what you need. So call again some other time and Alex will take some good care of you and, and so will I. Um, this is a very interesting show with a lot of people who really need help and are lovely and are really in crisis right now and need us. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, th- the lessons are beautiful. Mm-hmm. So um, that, was, uh, that, was, uh, that was interesting. All right, we're going to get Nicola on the phone. Jamie, we're sorry. We, we're sorry we caught you at a bad time, sweetie. We want the best for you. So call again. We'll do it again. And, and se- make sure to send me a text and stay in touch with me. Okay, so um, for whatever reason... Um, all right, let's try this. Here we go, my friends. I can hear my phone going off the hook and yours too. Mm -hmm. All right, Sarah, we're going to get you on the phone. Here we go. We're going to get Sarah on the phone and I promise we'll get her in a comfortable place. You could do your thing. You're all like, we're revved up to do your thing and now you can't. Oh no, I'm always doing my thing. (laughs) There's always somebody near getting cleared out at some point. <laughs> Somebody's always getting their stuff cleaned up. I don't know out. why. Like, I'm making so much money. I wonder why. Yeah, because like, oh, you had Alex yeah, over for five minutes. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, shocker. welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, Sheena. Thanks so much. Oh, thanks so much for coming. It was so great. To, it's so great to have you here. Say hi to Alex and what may we do for you? <laughs> hi, Alex. Hi, love. Um, well, you know, I'm not struggling with anything monumental. Um. And honestly, I'm probably the happiest I've ever been in my life. Good. But uh, I feel like I'm just struggling to, I don't know how to explain it. I reached out to Sheena about her raising the vibration. I just feel like this desire, this drawing to, you know, reach some next level um, to share with people or to inspire or to help Um and I, I honestly have a very full life with a job and family and, uh, you know, the normal stresses of finances and health. Um, but I'm not unhappy. I find sometimes I'm, like, so happy I think I might be manic if I don't have the depressive side. I'm just, like, super happy. And But I, 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 I want to do something more. I want to, you know, reach this next level. So I don't know if there's any message or any... Uh, Anything, anything you can tell me. I'm going to let you go. This one's you. I've started all of them. It's your turn. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, so please state your name again. Sure, it's Sarah. I already start channeling as soon as the call goes on. I know. Um, That's why you were, I just couldn't, I couldn't make you wait any longer. I was like, bah, bah, bah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Are you in a comfortable seated position? I sure am. I'm actually in my car. Praise yeah. the Lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anybody that needs to be fed right now or <laughs> needs to bark no, okay no, no. <laughs> okay all right so creator just commanded to connect to sarah okay connecting sarah to the light okay is there a message for sarah that's a yes Is there a certain god or god? Yeah, I already know who it is. Um, searching, 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 searching. Loki. Hmm. God of mischief. <laughs> what is it that is keeping you from having more fun in your life sarah what (laughs) could you do Um, that could be giving you more joy what could Um, you be doing so i made a lot of like super super bad choices early in my life um and now the joy that I find is honestly like, you know, stability. I love what my home. What were those I bad choices? My job. What's that? What were those bad choices? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it was a lot of drugs and jail and theft, and it was 
10 years of really, really making bad choices. 10 years. And putting my family through hell. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and clear the imprinting and patterning that you are still holding on to of the word bad. Are you ready? Yeah. I am ready. Creator, it is commanded to clear any imprinting or patterning of any drugs or alcohol that Sarah still has holding inside of her body and her muscle tissues, her fatty, fatty tissues, her nervous system, DNA, RNA, master cell, pineal gland, organs, the liver. Oh, the liver needs a breather. Creator, it is commanded to expand all energy from within the liver and any hidden anger or resentment towards anyone else to come up to the surface to be cleared, core level, genetic level, history level, soul level, DNA, RNA, master cell, pineal gland. Thank you, show me. It is done, it is done. Replace this with unconditional love, freedom from pain and suffering, and show Sarah what that feels like. Creator, it is commanded to clear all of the shock, stress, and trauma from that time. There we go. Creator, it is commanded to instill and imbue the feeling of, I can move forward. I can let go of my past. I can acknowledge my power. I can acknowledge my potency. I can acknowledge happiness. I can acknowledge happiness as happiness. Oh, creator, it is commanded to clear all of the entities of drugs, any demons associated with any drugs, any waywards associated with any drugs, any fallen ones, or what is this, soul fragments, to be sent back to anyone else that was uh, in the crossfire of Sarah's fun heydays. <laughs> 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 or any soul fragments that need to go back to her from anyone else that she saw. There we go. There, yeah, that's that's a lot better. Creator is committed to instill and imbue the love and the light and the hilariousness and mischievousness of the god Loki into her body. You got to live a little, honey. Yeah, and if I may, sweetheart, you Go. need to stop beating yeah. yourself up for what you went through. Please. You did it, it's done, you fixed it, and you need to stop the story that you tell yourself about you is... I'm a person that was a drug addict, went to jail, stole mm -hmm. stuff, got in trouble. Yeah, yeah. You because need to let it go, sweetheart, because you're carrying it around you like uh, Jacob Marley's boxes of chains, Jacob and you've got to let it go. Like, I like just so guilty, and I just want to, you know, be the better person. And you know, sweetheart, uh, you are welcome to come and with self love. That's very true. You are welcome to come and work with me on the vibration all you want. Yeah, I feel like a calling. Uh, I like I'm on the verge of. Something. Do it. Come help me. Um, I always need folks and beautiful <laughs> souls to help me. Where are you located? Uh, I live in West Covina now. Oh, beautiful. So you're close. She's okay, close. we're having a yeah, gathering yeah. for the vibration on um, uh, St. Patrick's Day, the morning of St. Patrick's Day from uh, oh. 1130 to 3. Let me know if you want to come and, and bring some friends, and I'll take care of your tickets. I will. I will uh, be in touch. I'll text you. Sounds Thanks good. so much, Sheena and Alex. I appreciate it. Oh, Thank I gotta you, put sweetheart. you back in your body. Uh -oh. Alex, I gotta put you back in your body. Hang yeah, tight. Yeah, you can't oh. just like run off. Please Creator, please. it is commanded <laughs> to integrate everything in the session. Shower off in your iridescent bright white light. You are back inside of your head, your toes, your fingers. Coming back down inside of your head, your toes, your fingers. You were back inside of your head, your toes, your fingers. Okay, now you can go. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate you and we thank you for the call. And uh, we are so glad that you're doing better. And we want to hear the story that you're fantastic and you're moving on. Because that's the most important thing, sweetie, is that you're doing of great course, and, you've, and you've moved on. Not, not anything bad that's happened or, or, you know, it's what's done is done. You have to remember that. What's done is done. Yeah. My mom used to remind me of that all the time. And it's, it's hard for me even to remember that's what's done is done. But it's true. Mm. All right, we're going to crank through a couple because we had all that time where we just sat around and went, what's going on with the Skype? What's happening? I don't understand. What's this? <laughs> so we're going to get Nicola on the line right now. And oh, and look, there she is, just like everything's working. What a coinky dink. Uh, 
and now it's back online again. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Spirit just says, nope, take a break and let Alex talk about what he's doing. So well, S- Cynthia Balden said, Alex, if you ever lock it down into a machine, I want to see Janis Joplin in concert. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice, Cynthia. It's awesome. <laughs> Nicola, welcome. Did I say your name right, sweetheart? Oh, bless you. Well, it's Nicola, but I Nicola. love when people say Nicola. It's like an alter ego. Oh, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nicola. Now Thank I said you. it right. Sorry, sweetheart. Nicola, yeah. Welcome to the That's show, okay. honey. What may we do for you? Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's so great to say hi to Alex. Thank you for having me. Hello, oh. Alex. Hello, I, I puppet. Yeah, I said that right. Hello. <laughs> what can we do for you, love? Um, yeah, well, I hope you can help me. I'm. I feel like I've been. I don't know. I kind of been sitting, sitting in my life for two years, thinking what's going on, and I, you know, I'm just looking forward to hopefully things kind of moving forward in yeah. my career, specifically, I guess. Yeah, in my life. <laughs> sure. Well, no, this is this is going to be a very blunt thing to say, uh, but I'm of oh, Irish God. descent, and we're blunt, so bear with me. Um, are you, are you, yeah. you just feel kind of bored. Are you bored with a lot of things in your life? <laughs> a little bit, yes. <laughs> yeah, you just yes. feel like you're, you you've kind of hit a wall. Like you, you just, the job's yeah. not really doing it for you anymore. The, 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 pri- the social life's not doing it for you anymore. You, you just, you, you know, <laughs> there's something out there that's really going to make you like so excited and, and just happy to be alive every second. And you just don't know where it is. Exactly. And you kind of, you got the blahs. I know, and I, I know exactly what I want, so I just hope I get it, you know? Okay, so tell us what you want. Let's manifest it. We're going to help you manifest what you want. Oh, thank you. I love manifesting. So I, I yeah, I, I'm an actress, and I came to Hollywood from England, and I'm like, come on, let's bring it. You know, I've been waiting, and um, I just want it all to happen. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> all right, so um, so this is what this is what I'm getting. This is what you need to do. This is what the universe is saying. First of all, you need to stop thinking of it as something that's in the future that you can't touch yet. This thing that you want okay. that you don't have, and you have to start thinking of something that you have. So everything that you do okay. and every every role that you do and every time you get cast and every audition you get, every callback you get, you have to think of that as this is what's happening in my career right now and not I'm waiting for the career to start. Because you talk about your career like it's on like a, sh- a ship on the horizon and as much as you move <laughs> towards it, it still seems that much farther away instead of something right. that's actively happening right now. And you're just moving through the process of putting more roles and more auditions and getting in front of people b- under your belt. Does that make sense? It does indeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not this sort of <laughs> elusive thing. It. It's here. What? It's here. Yeah. It's happening right now. And it's everything here. that you do, whether it's <laughs> getting in a room in front of big casting people or it's doing a friend's student film, you, it's still happening right, right now and you're doing it right the second. So I think that's part of it, thinking more in the I am and not the I will be. Because as long as you put it out in right. front of you, as long as it's this thing that's hanging in front of you like a carrot dangling in front of a horse that you can't reach, it's always going <laughs> to be that to you and you're never going to feel like you're really in it. It's so true. And I, I love manifest and I love that you say in the now and I'm trying yeah. my best to do that for sure. Thank you. And, 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 you know, if you need a reminder, go look at your resume, look at everything you've done and, and be thankful for all the things that you've been able to do that maybe other folks have never had those opportunities and think more about like a glass half full perspective. What have I had and not, what have I not yet had? And I think the combination of that yes. switch in perspective and actually feeling like you're living your career right now in the now, the combination of those two things is going to make you have a completely different feeling about your career. Thank you so much. I know it's true. And, you know, I love to be positive and I love to be, you know, in the now for sure. It's it's just a reminder, isn't it? It really yes. is. Absolutely it is. Now I'm going to let I put you in Alex's capable hands and third eye. Hey, thank you. So, Nicola... Let me ask you a question. Yes. <laughs> Are you sitting down? I am. <laughs> I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. Creator just commanded to connect to Nicola and to connect her to the light. Oh, this is this is so easy. Okay. Um, creator, it is commanded to clear the belief system from the matriarchal lineage <laughs> from Nicholas' family <laughs> of uh, 
nothing is ever enough yeah mm -hmm. to be sent to the light <laughs> core level genetic level history level soul level dna or any master cell pineal gland all lifetimes all dimensions all realms mitochondria of the cells thank you show me get out 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 there we go it is done it is done replace this with unconditional love freedom from pain and suffering and all of the demons of Hollywood return from whence you came, never to return again to Nicola or her body or this reality for all eternity. All of the entities of lack of doubt, of lack of success um, that hold her in this reality that it has to look a certain way, feel a certain way, taste a certain way, and be a certain way. We send all of these to the light. Thank you. See you later. Don't really want you around. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Repeat after me. Repeat after. Oh, you made me cry. Good. Thank you. Repeat after me, Nicola. You're welcome. Demons. Demons. Your job is done. Your job is done. You can go now. You can go now. Beautiful. Right, fantastic. Creator, Beautiful. it is commanded to instill and imbue the feeling of, I trust myself as an actress. I know I am an amazing actress. I know I am an amazing human being. I love myself. I love my job. And I am grateful for what I have and what I will have. Instilling and imbuing and downloading. Mm -mm 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 creator it is commanded to integrate everything in this session shower off an iridescent bright white light coming back and down into your head your toes your fingers head toes fingers head toes fingers take a deep breath in and exhale And take one last deep, 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 deep breath in and your solar plexus and then exhale and open your eyes. I will state this again and I'll probably say it a billion times. L.A. is an amazing <laughs> city yes. and it is magical. The city is magical, but it will make you hold your breath after you ask for what it is that you want. Yep. Do not be afraid, Nicola, of the moments where you hold your breath. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. The the peaks, the, the valleys between the peaks. Your excitement and your effervescence is quite refreshing and it feels authentic. And most actors and actresses that ask for what you're asking for, they don't really mean it. Yeah. You have to understand that. Yep. You actually believe in it. You're the real deal, my friend. You actually believe. Yeah. Okay. We're so proud of you. Thanks for calling. Stay in touch. Let us know how you're doing. We adore you. Everybody, 818-437-0886. That's my cell phone. That's how you get on the air with us. Um, Alex and I are taking your calls until a little bit before 7. We're helping. We're healing. We're cleaning. <laughs> Do a little cleaning. <laughs> We're cleaning. Do a little counseling. Do a I little reading. I, I like that. I like, you know what? We're um, just here to clean. We're the maids. What was we're, it? we're the, we're the, the spiritual maids. I'm going to scrub your vibration. Exactly. Just scrub yes. it down. We're going to do a deep cleaning a on dirty. you. Your quartz crystal is dirty. <laughs> dirty. We're recharging you. We're cleaning you and then recharging Cleansing you. Cleansing and harmonizing. Exactly. We're like the people that come in after a crime scene <laughs> and clean the place out. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's more like Alex is That's that person. That's my job. Then I'm the regular maid that comes oh afterwards god, that and would just be does. The best job ever, right? Oh my god! They're like, oh my god! There's blood on the walls. That's fine. We just need to clear the imprinting and the patterning exactly. and all the demons. You clean the blood. We're cleaning out the demons. All the ghosts, you know. Right. I think that's our thing. We need to do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wear maid outfits. Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. All right. We're gonna get Diane on the line now, and so excited to be doing it. Can Diane, I wear heels. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Sure. <laughs> can I wear overalls? We'll yes. switch roles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wear painter's pants. Please. Remember painter's pants? Oh, of <laughs> It course. looks so horrible in painter's pants, but let's do it. Yeah, painter's course. pants overalls. Yeah, for, yeah. And you wear like a little feather duster and a French maid Can outfit. I look like the chick from Clue? Yes. Oh. You, you, yes, you may. Oh. Yes. Yes, you may. Oh. Diane, welcome to the show. Hi, it's guys. so great to have you here. How are you? Say hi to Alex. Hi, Alex. Hello, darling. Thank you for taking me. Thank oh, you for calling. Are you course. kidding me? Thank you for calling. We're loving having you on the air. Uh, what can we do for you, my friend? Um, well, you know what? I have a lot of, um, a lot of stuff that's gone on in my life, but I, you know, I suffered a, a, a few losses in the last few years. I'm sorry, honey. But one more, um, unexpectedly. So I have a lot of grief and then I have a lot of responsibility and I'm just trying to manage through it. 
and it's getting tough. Um, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Let's talk about the one that was a shock. Um, it, it's almost like you have a little like PTSD from that, right? Like it's just not that you're grieving, but the the, yeah, the suddenness more than, of more it. More than a little, I would say. Yeah, yeah more the, than a little. The, su- the, the, the suddenness of it has really shocked your system, and it's almost like you're not yes. exhaling the way that you should be. You're, you're kind of holding your breath, like wanting time to stop, and in a way you're not moving forward from it. Absolutely. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to send you an extra dose of love tonight to just kind of soften your heart through that. It's almost like you feel like you're encased in an ice sculpture and you need everything to melt around you so you can thaw. Yeah, she's contracted right now. Darling, um, I just I'm kind of like tripping out right now because I've already done so many clearings. So uh, what is the, the name of the person? This person? Donnie. Donnie. Um. When did this happen? Um, in October of 2017. He was my brother. I took care of him for eight and a half years. He suffered a brain injury Donnie. eight and a half years earlier. Donnie, and he okay. was doing fantastic. There was okay. no active illness going on. So okay. on October 29th, mm-hmm. he lived with me because he had a brain injury. So he okay. went to bed, woke up the next day, okay. went in his room, and he passed in his sleep. So oh, it was okay. completely unexpected. And he was like my best friend. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what I'm uh, picking up on right now... I'm really starting to like trip out right now is uh <laughs> um donnie is coming through before i say the next thing i have to ask permission first because it's like it's very very raw still do i have permission to um give you and donnie the release from each other so that you can actually move forward in your life and to clear the trauma and the stress that you are still holding on to in your body. Absolutely. Yes. Ooh, praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good choice, my friend. All right. Okay. So I want to explain something to you cause I, 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 I really feel for you, honey. Um, Thank you. So the thing that happens with death and with when you're taking care of someone that you love like in a sort of a hospice way or in a sort of like you're their caretaker way is you get to see everything about them uh the good and the bad the the lovely and the ugly and you get really close to them uh the thing that happens though is that this is the really cool thing about human beings is that our energy, our energies get so intertwined so easily through skin cells, blood, energy, or you name it. It just, it happens. And what happened with you and Donnie is you guys are like locked in still energetically. And it's a beautiful, oh, it's absolutely, a, it's a beautiful That's thing. Been our whole entire it, life. It's a beautiful thing, but it's also because he's no longer in the physical karmic human realm anymore. Yes. It's hindering you because he's not here, you know, and you're still holding yeah. on to Donnie. So we're going to go ahead and just like clear it out. So go okay. ahead and close your eyes. Okay. Creator it is commanded to show Donnie to state uh, your name again. Diane. Diane to Diane from your divine understanding and perspective. I understand my brother. I understand my brother through the eyes of God. I have hope. Yeah. Creators commanded to clear all the hooks, ties, cords, and any other energetic attachments or soul contracts, psychic attacks, psychic, oh, psychic hooks between Donnie and um, Diane to be sent to the light core level genetically. seeing Donnie, knowing Donnie that was going to go at some point, but didn't really know where he was going to go, and then he went, and then it was a shock. Yeah, this is the light core level genetic core level transfer. Creator is going to clear all the emotional baggage between Donnie and Diane and Creator. Oh. 
understand that Donnie was who he was, the way he was, with the consciousness level he had available to mm -hmm. him in this lifetime, and repeat after me, I forgive you, Donnie. I forgive you, Donnie. And I release you. And I release you. To God's love. To God's love. And God's light. In God's light. Creator, it is commanded to instill the feeling of I can move forward in my life. I love myself. I can live for myself. And I understand what it is like to exist in my own reality into Diane's cells. Now, Creator is commanded to integrate everything in this session. Shower off into iridescent bright white light. You are back inside of your head, your toes, your fingers. You are back inside of your head, your toes, your fingers. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And take another deep, deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly open your eyes. I take every chance I can get to take that deep breath in and exhale. Hey, Did you notice that? Yeah, I know. Every healing, I cop a little bit at the end. You should. You know, um, sweetheart, Donnie was he was he was not consciously did not realize he was ready to go. But the universe was ready for him to come home. And as soon as he crossed over, he knew he was supposed to be home. Right. So he's perfectly fine where he is. He's happy to be out of the body and, and, and out of the, the trouble of being embodied. He's, he's happy where he is. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? He had suffered a heart attack um, in 2009, and I found him, and I did CPR on him. He ended up surviving. But he um, was down for so long, he suffered a brain injury from it. So four days later, he woke up out of a coma, and they said he would be a vegetable, and he woke up, and all he talked about was heaven. Yep. But all he talked about for eight and a half years yep. was he'd tell everybody about where he was at and why why did they send him back he loved it there so for him to disappear i feel like he's like god took him away from me like why didn't i get to say goodbye like why didn't i have a sign he was leaving and so was that was hard and i lost another brother five years before from suicide so i was grieving oh, him sweetie, I'm sorry. and then my brother who i was really close to then that happened it was like i felt like i was being punished like what did i do wrong no nothing sweetheart it's just that the universe and donnie made a little last minute decision while you were sleeping mm -hmm. <laughs> and 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 then he and he had to go i mean sometimes you don't get any warning when you got to go sometimes you it's like when you're a fireman right the the fire the fire alarm goes off and they all slide down the pole and go yep sometimes the universe just comes to you and says hey you come on it's your time now i'll tell you a story diane just because i i really i i understand how you're feeling um, my father died before I moved to L.A., and he and I had a conversation with each other a couple months before he passed away, and he said, I just want to let you know that I know that I'm going to go, and I know that I've already created death in my body. And he was not, like, a very spiritual person out loud. I'm sure he was internally. And he said, when I go everything else will work out for you. So you have to understand that there's a reason why, even though it's painful, things leave so that other things can come in. Everything ebbs and flows. It's a part of the cycle of life. So what I would like for you to do, so that now that we've cleared Donnie out of you, I guess this is the gratitude day, I want you to be, w as soon as you wake up in the morning, I want you to state what you're grateful for and what you have. Yes. Because you, you got to pull your energetic field up. And it'll be nice. It can be simple. It, it doesn't have to be these, you know, big things like, oh, I'm, ex I'm grateful for life itself. You could be like, I'm grateful for grass. I'm grateful for cereal. Like, just it's anything. Yes. No, I understand that. I actually do understand what you're saying. Any, and I do need anything. to get back into that place. Anything. But I also have my mother who's on hospice, too. So it's like, usually I can pull my vibration up. But since this last hit with my brother and then my mom's on hospice, it's like it's been a downward spiral. I know, mm -hmm. sweetie. How do I get mm -hmm. back up again? Mm -hmm. I know, honey. It's so hard. It's so hard. I think you're going to be better now that you're, yeah, for you've are you sure. separated that soul tie with Donnie a little bit. Well, yeah. I feel like my health, like my heart, I have problems with the arrhythmias and stuff in my heart. So yeah. I think it's, I don't know if it's because I'm so connected to Donnie. Yes. It that's, is. that's exactly why. I went through the same thing after so my mother died. Of course, died. I think about that. When I go to bed, am I not going to wake up? Oh no. my gosh. I, and I'm raising my six year old granddaughter. So no. I'm like, oh my God, what if I'm not there for her? Or oh, what if it happens to me? And then I have to shut myself down and say, I got to stop that. No, you have to stop just, it. You know. I, I have I have intermittent atrial fibrillation, so I go through the same thing. So um, I will tell you something that um, 
that I go through as well. Um, uh, there's great apps online that you can get that monitor your heart rate while you're sleeping. They monitor your sleep cycles while you're sleeping. You get one. You turn it on while you sleep on your phone. So you can wake up in the morning and see what's happening when you're sleeping and not freak out. I think I would freak out more if I start thinking about no. it. I start thinking about it. I'm like, oh, my God. And no, 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 no. And I'm like, okay, no. shut up. Don't do that. No, so your heart's not really going to stop, sweetheart. Your heart's not going to stop. It's going to be okay. Trust me, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Well, a part of me is, I guess, thank you for doing that because a part of me, I'm always afraid to let go. Like I'm yes. so used to turning around and he's there. Then now, I mean, things happen in my day and I, I reach to the phone and think, oh, I got to call Don. Oh my gosh, he's not there. I know, honey. So it's that habit of having him with me 24 seven. Yeah. And we've always been besties ever since we were little kids because there's nine of us and he's nine years older than me. So he was the big brother that looked after us, like the big brother that watched us out for his sisters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I always had that. And then it switched, and I became the big sister, and he was the little brother after yeah. his brain injury. Yeah. So I, to- I guess we were, you know, energetically connected. You were. And you still because, are, just in a different way now, just spiritually and, and, not, and not so strong. Mm-hmm. So you're still connected. You're well, just not him tied to, to each other. With me. We you are. We believed in spiritual, spirituality all the he time. Will. Like, he was supposed to throw pennies at me, or I throw feathers at him, whoever went first, and... And I haven't been able to connect with him. Well, maybe because like he just left. The, the earthly tie was still so strong, there was no time for the spiritual tie to come in. So, so just just give it some time, sweetie. Now that now that the tie has changed, the spiritual connection is still there. The earth tie has been cut. You're letting him go. You're making a conscious effort to let him go. Now you will see more of the spiritual signs. Everything's going to be okay, sweetheart. And you've got my email, and you've got my text, my phone, and I'm here if you need me. And so is Alex. So. Um, so thank you so much for the call and let us know how you're doing. Thank you. So I'm going to start another call. Alex is going to take a quick break because we all have to take breaks because even psychics are human and go potty. (laughs) So Alex will be back in a minute. And uh, while while Alex is taking care of his earthly duties, um, I'm going to get Linda on the phone. If you want to get on the phone with us, it's so easy. Text me, text this thing right here, 818-437-0886. That's 818-437-0886. That's my personal cell phone so you're so safe your numbers will not be shared with anybody but but it's just my cell phone that i use for my personal use so try not to use it to stalk me or you know sign me up for a bunch of weird mailing lists that freak me out and um but do put me on your mailing list if you have one because i do want to know what's going on with you 818-437-0886 that's how you do it and uh so when that's well well uh, alex is running to the restroom really quick i am going to get linda on the line so linda if you're there uh, come on down. It's uh, oh, I have to make sure I have the right, the right Linda number now because I have two in here. So let's see what we do here. Oh, there's that sound again. Boop 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 boop. It's the sound of Skype. Boop boop boop. Hello, Linda. Are you with us? Yes. Hi. Welcome to the show, my friend. How are you? Okay. It's so great to have you here. What what can I do for you? Alex is on his way to the bathroom. He'll be back in a sec. In the meantime, you've got all my attention. What 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 can I do for you? Um, I'm worried about my youngest son and my granddaughter. Okay, you're worried about your youngest son. Did you say? Yes. Okay. Is it um yeah. he's got emotional stuff? Uh. He has a couple different disabilities. Okay. And and, and and I have... I'm listening, sweetie. Well, I have my own physical problems, and I just don't know how much longer I'll be able to take care of him. Yeah. Um, and my granddaughter, her dad's not doing anything the right way. Yeah, she's difficult, right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I have to say things gently because I'm on the air and that's my job. Um, is she is his daughter. Yeah. Okay, so it would fall onto her to take care of him, if if you're not if you physically can't take care of him, but she has kind of no interest oh, in no, it. No, no. The other son. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. My oldest son is the father. He's her father. Okay. Yeah. But he's not really involved with taking care of his brother either, right? Oh, God, no. Yeah. So she's more like her father. Uh, yeah. 
and and your youngest son is the one that you've been helping and now you need help helping him yeah. and no one's helping you yeah oh sweetheart i'm so sorry um your youngest son is lovely. He has a lovely personality, but he, he kind of struggles with depression, right? His physical limits have sort of manifested into emotional limits. Uh, yeah. And, um, and a lot of what's gone on with you physically and emotionally has been because of all the energy that you have to pour into him. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. <laughs> In a way, it's almost like you're living for two people. And that's hard. Yeah, sometimes it feels like I'm just living for him. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I mean. You're living your life and you're living his life and you're mostly living his life. Mm-hmm. So you have to find a way to heal you, sweetie, so that you can get strong again. And, okay. and I, I know that there's not a lot that you can do because you're the one responsible to take care of him. Yeah. But you can emotionally and spiritually release yourself from some of the burden of it. Like, look at the, the physical things that you have to do, you have to do. But yeah. worrying about it and getting yourself emotionally invested in it to the point where it almost paralyzes you that you don't have to do. You have to separate yourself from his pain a little bit. Does that make sense? Yes, and I'm no good at that. I know. I know, sweetheart. And not only that, but you need to separate yourself from the emotional problems that your older son has and the emotional problems that your granddaughter has and the fact that they, in a way, want you to feed into them too and take care of them just in a different way. Yeah. So everybody, to be completely honest and blunt, because I can't think of a better word, love, everybody's draining <laughs> you. And no yeah, one is filling you up. Yeah, I feel that 24-7. Yeah. And, and you feel, sweetheart, like, like you almost like it's difficult for you to breathe. And I feel like oh, yeah. it's, it's become actually difficult for you to breathe because it's become difficult for you to breathe. Does that make sense? <laughs> Yes, that makes total sense. So we need to find two, two things we need to do. We need to get you to learn to put distance and filters up between your youngest son, who's inadvertently draining you, and your older son and your granddaughter, who are draining you on purpose. And then mm, we need yeah. to find ways to fill you up. Because nobody, it's like you have a, your battery is constantly on empty and it's blinking. And no one is recharging it. And you don't have any time to recharge it because you have so many obligations and so many people that you have to take care of. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is one thing I want you to do is I feel like emotionally you have felt like you were holding your breath for so long that you're actually physiologically holding your breath. So you need to take, you know, five, ten yeah. minutes a couple of times a day and just do some deep, slow, deep breathing for me. Because I okay. feel like you tighten your chest to guard yourself against all of the draining. And then you, you're breathing mm. these very shallow breaths. I can feel them right now. These like super shallow little breaths. And you need to be getting some. Yeah, I breaths. can feel my chest tight right now. Yeah, it's tight because you're even talking about it and it's tight. Nobody wants to be drained, sweetheart. Nobody wants to live like that. So, yeah, I would love it if you would um, you would do a little breathing for me. Okay. Okay? And I'm going to let, um, yeah. let Alex now do a little clearing on you to separate you from, from the, the ties that you have that are draining you from your, your son who is very sweet but has problems and it, physical problems and is draining you unintentionally and your older son and your granddaughter who are just draining you because they're just draining people. Alex, yeah. this is Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Alex. Okay, hon. So go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to repeat after me. Violet light. 
violet light. That I am. That I am. God that I am. God that I am. Violet light that I am. Violet light that I am. God that I am. God that I am. Violet light that I am. Violet light that I am. God that I am. God that I am. Violet light that I am. Violet light that I am. God that I am. God that I am. Now I want you to imagine that you can see your sons in front of you and you can see the cord between you and them. And now in front of you, I want you to hold your hand up like you're raising it up and your hand is a violet flame. And now I want you to slice the air and cut the cords in three, two, one, slice. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. And look at that deep breath. Mm -hmm. That was fantastic. That was the deepest breath that I felt since you got on the phone with us. Isn't that wonderful? And then I want you to do this for me, sweetie. Yeah. With all the work that I have done and then all the work that Alex has done on you. I want you to imagine um, the draining energy that you get from your kids and your grandkid as like um, like a colander. So you put the pasta in the colander and all the water runs out and the pasta stays. You have to put up a filter like that, like a screen door, so that you allow everything that happens to run out of you that you don't need. You keep the good stuff and the negative stuff, you let it wash out of you. You know? Okay. Like if you were standing in front of the door and a bunch of wa somebody threw a bucket of water on you, it would hit the water wall and it would fall the door and it would flash all over you. But if they threw it at a screen door, it would fly through the door. And that's what I want you to think of, yep. of just there being a filter that you allow what you don't need to come out and you guard yourself from what's coming in that you don't need. And start imagining like a okay. screen around you. Okay. And you're going to be so okay, sweetheart. And we love you. And thank you for calling in. And we're going to send you some extra prayers too. Boy, I felt tight in my chest just talking to her. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, you know, this is where I get pet peevy and I don't mean, I mean, I understand her son is sick. So that's, that's one thing. A sick person is one thing, but people that just want to drain you because they want to drain you. That's not okay with me. Well, this is, this is a lot of the people that are calling in. It's like caregiver type of, you know, they, right. That's one thing. Yeah. But it, it's like, but it's also kind of, but, but the thing is, is it's like, you need to understand that you can't give your power away to people, yes. even your children. Yes. Like you have to like stand in your power yes. otherwise you're screwed you i know? agree yeah you know well and you don't have a right to drain people no just because you don't want to do your work i mean the, you know what i tell people now sheena mm -hmm. when if i have any friends that call me and start asking me questions or like asking me for divinations what i've started to do is i go repeat after me i ask the universe to compensate alex for the work that he is doing with cash in hand immediately <laughs> yeah that's funny uh -huh. that's fantastic yeah yeah i just don't answer my phone because <laughs> there are some folks that just want to drain you because they just want to drain you mm -hmm. that's their thing they drain and they think that everyone in the universe should feed them and they feed no one mm -hmm. i don't mind helping people that are in crisis then other people help me when i'm in crisis but some people are just always pulling and sure. they're always in crisis sure. or they just don't want to be bothered. Like she's got other kids. She's got a grandkid, maybe more. These people could all be helping her with her son, but nobody wants to help. So that's, that's where I get, hmm. that's where I get all Irish. Like, My fists go up. <laughs> yeah. Stop, you know, stop being narcissistic. <laughs> I know. That's when I get like that. <laughs> all right. Let's get Kim on the line. <laughs> it's, it's the, <laughs> Instead of bitching, let's do something. Let's do something let's positive. Let's do some stitching. Exactly. <laughs> You're fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're here with Alex May, and uh, we're taking your calls. You can text me to get on the air, 
818-437-0886. That's 818-437-0886. And we do have a line. There's people waiting. Uh, Alex can see the waiting list here. There's a big, there's, oh my a, God. there's a big waiting list. Yeah. So, <laughs> so here we go. So here we go. Kim, we're getting Kim on the line right now. We're working through people, and we're here for about another 15 minutes. So we should be able to take two or three more calls in that time. Kim, welcome Hello. to the show. How are you, my friend? Welcome. Hi, thank you. How are you? Good. It's so great to have you with us. I'm so excited. What can we do for you, my friend? Um, well, I just have a lot, a lot of um, going on. Um, I think I have emailed you um, not very long ago about my mother, and then I have um, just recently I had one of my nephews that um, had drowned just literally like last weekend. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. And it's just, just hard, and um, I wasn't I wasn't too, too close to, to, my, to my great nephews, but it's just more for the family, and it's just everything just kind of, kind of feels crazy. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's so hard. Um, so... You you sort of feel like to me like you just you don't know which way to go, like you're just sort of exactly. spinning in a circle and you're not sure what your next move is. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Okay. I think you hit it like that. that just saying that was like yes. That's exactly that's exactly how I've been feeling. Um. Okay. So. So so here's here's what I feel. In order for you to be able to move forward in any direction, you have to stop spinning. That's the first thing. And, and, and I think when someone dies, when you've had death, when you've had tragedy, when you've had trauma, a natural reaction is to spin. So the reaction you're having is perfectly normal. It's just finding a way now to slow the spinning down so that you can start thinking about one thing at a time in your life to move forward. And, and some of those things you're thinking about moving forward, honey, is moving yourself through the grieving process. Because that is a process and that is something that you need to move through. But it's hard sometimes to move through something if you're just spinning in a circle. And I think, in all honesty, Kim, just too many things have happened to you at one time. And it's almost like you're, you it's, it's, are, yeah. it's too much stuff and you just can't process it. Exactly. Yes. So what's the easiest thing for you to process first? Start with the easy thing and get it under your belt. <laughs> Well, the easiest thing, obviously, um, I, I don't know if it's easiest <laughs> um, You know, my mother. You know, it. it my my mother's been passed for a while. I still haven't take. I, ha- I haven't accepted. I, I have accepted it, but I haven't gone through like what you said with the grieving process. Yeah, it's like hard. That, I don't know if I ever actually went through. Like I, I don't know, and 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 I always go back to that. Like that. The, it's. Um, I don't know how to say it. It's like my, um, like when I feel sad, that's what I think about. It's not, it's always that, you know, and my, cause my mom was my best friend and, you know, and all of that. And it happened real sudden with my mom and I just was like, I wasn't ready and I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't there at the time when she passed. And so it was just always that thing, you know, like, is she okay? You know, is she going to, um, and then at the same time, I feel like maybe, you know, she, it, it happened for a reason. So I wasn't there cause I don't know if she would understand you know it's i could understand you know how it felt to um be there and in the actual process when she had passed away sure so i and i always think of this thing i'm a thinker i think too much yes you're thinking too much right now Mm -hmm, exactly (laughs) yeah and that's part of the spinning sweetie the thinking too much is part of the spinning um okay so first of all your mama like we know like we told diane a couple of callers ago your mama went home when the universe said, it's now's the time. There's nothing you could have done about it. Nothing she could have done about it. Nothing anybody could have done about it. When you're called, you go home. That's just how it is. When mother calls, you go home. So um, she's fine, honey. She just worries about you because she wants you to be as okay as she is. But she also knows, and I'm telling you because I've been there, it'll be three years March 11th for me losing your mother is a process it's not something that you just go okay i'm over it and you move on i don't think you're ever going to be the same you can move on and be as and be a happy person and be fantastic 
but you're never going to be the same person you were before your mom died. So you have to let go of these expectations, sweetheart, that you're going to be the exact same person that you were before your mom died, before your nephew drowned, before other tragedies. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Everything that happens to you changes you. It's just how you alter the perspective of it so that it changes you for the better. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It does. And I just wish I could just like just get over that little that little hump, you know, that 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 hump of it just being like, okay, I can accept it. Yeah. And and, and it's probably like what you said. It's just pro. It's a process, and and uh, you know, like, when I was um, when my <clears throat> sorry when my mother had first passed away, she would come into my dreams, and then in my, literally my mom had came in my dream and told me this is the last time. And literally, I have never, I have not had anything about my mom, nothing. It was like literally she had told me in my dream that this is the last time I was going to see her again. And that's just like, ah. Uh. And so it's, I just process too much and I think too much and I'm a thinker and, and I'm all, always all over the place. <laughs> like you said, I'm spinning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and you, need to, you need to learn to slow that spin down. Yes, and, and and you need to learn to yeah, you need to breathe right. through it. I know tonight's the theme has been breathing, Alex. Too. Yeah, it's been a breathing theme. You need to you need to breathe through it because you just feel like you're breathing like a rabbit, like a, like a scared kitten, yes. like a million. You're breathing like <laughs> like you're panting. Yes, and yeah. you just need to. Oh God, you just need to relax. Sit in some hot water, honey. Throw some Epsom salt in a bath and let some magnesium soak up in you. Uh, you know, uh, sleep with some selenite. Uh, you, you just you we you need to to just relax sweetie these things that have happened they've just happened love they've happened in your world they have not happened to you it's nothing purposeful the universe loves you the universe is not has not done these things just to kind of mess with you um and you have to try to not feel victimized by it i know that's so hard it's so natural for us to feel victimized by things and you have to work really hard yeah. to not feel victimized by it where are you located well what area what city are you located in um i'm in texas and um, um closer to austin but uh-huh. i'm like on the outskirts like where they call like the the bumpkins like out where the, where the country is oh cool okay um yeah How's your energy? And, and, le- I put a guard, and I put a guard on a lot because of, I have four kids and they were, um, my mom had passed before my, my kids were born. And so I always put this guard on to where, you know, they asked me, when anybody asked me anything about, has to do anything about my mother, like, I just like, my eyes start tearing up. Like, That's okay. Like, I, feel like I, I have to wear thing. sunglasses. And so it's, it's always so hard. Like, I don't, and, and like the kids want to know and I try to tell them and it's hard. And, I know, sweetheart. You know, I get pictures out and stuff and try to tell them it's hard. I know, sweetheart. I know. I know. I know. I've I go through the same thing. I've I I've gone it's through like the I same thing. Like I put this guard up. Like I'm always okay. I'm always okay. And then I'm like, and yeah. then um, it's more like um, I I I do that because I I don't want the, the kids to feel like I have this broken part. <laughs> Yeah. So if that makes any sense. So what I'm yeah. picking up on is that like you're spiraling a lot, but the spiraling also comes from you pushing and resisting against other things that you could be doing for yourself. Sort of like y- she's probably like the fourth or fifth person that's called with the same kind of thing going yes, on and not breathing and not breathing. Yeah. So are you in a comfortable seated position? Oh, me? Right, like, right at this moment? Yeah, mm-hmm. you. Oh, oh yes, yes. <laughs> okay, good. Like, in life. Like, in life, like, yes, I'm, I'm like, okay, I thought you, I, I was like, right now? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, go ahead and close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Breathe deep into your belly. And exhale from your mouth. Breathe deep into your belly. And exhale from your mouth. (sighs) 
Breathe deep into your belly and exhale from your mouth. Breathe deep into your belly and exhale from your mouth. Connect yourself to the air around you. Connect yourself to the wind. Oh, I love that. Connect your feet to the earth. Every time you inhale, imagine that you are energizing your body. And as you exhale, you are letting loose all of the fibers that you've taken on from everyone else to tether you to them. Inhale through your head, down into the earth. Exhale, out. Mm -hmm. Inhale the element of air through your head, down into the earth. Exhale from the earth. Exhale all of the fibers the tethering of everyone else around you. Creator, it is commanded to clear all the shock, stress, and trauma. Core level, genetic level, history level, soul level, DNA level, mysteries of life, void of abundance, all dimensions, all realms, mitochondria of the cells. Thank you, Shiva. It is done. It is done. Replace this with unconditional love, freedom from pain and suffering, and what is what is the name? remember anything right now i don't even know where i am <laughs> get back <laughs> in your body baby okay creator is commanded to integrate everything in the session shower off an iridescent bright white light you are coming back down inside of your head your toes your fingers i need to come back inside of my head my toes my fingers there we go <laughs> take a deep breath in and exhale and then take one last deep, deep, deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly open your eyes. So, a, a, awesome. A, thank you. A couple of things, darling. So, you're doing crazy making. Stop it. Make it stop. Yeah. For the love of God, stop it. You <laughs> have a massive amount of energy. Um, that you could be using in different ways, but what you're doing is you're internalizing it and you're making yourself go nuts. So listen, listen very carefully. If there is something okay. that you would like to do for yourself, that takes uh, precedence over everything else, including your children. I'm sure you've never heard anybody say that to you or anyone else around you. The reason for this is that women they do everything. They create life, they create magic, you know, and the biggest problem for a lot of women is that they don't take time out for themselves. Yeah. It's going to make you go cray cray. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're it's right been a theme that. tonight too. Yeah. Women don't take time for themselves. They don't, they don't, they don't take time for themselves because everybody's like, you're a mother. You have to take care of your children. You have to bleed yourself dry. Yep. It's like, stop it. <laughs> you're totally yeah you know yeah then no you're 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 right i have you know like i said i have four kids and yeah all, from right. 13 all the way to the age of, of five yeah. right and they know, bleed you dry so, right so it's it, it's hard it is hard and it's very hard it's yeah a lot know. of time and then and like i said i always like back you know back step back to you know like mom where are you what, what do i do you know and all of that kind of you know i don't I know, have a, a big it's, family you know on the outside you know, i know as, it's as hard as not to rely life. on your mom i know yeah. i get it sweetie yeah. we are we are so out of time honey i'm so sorry to cut you off um but you have my email and you have my text uh, my phone you can text me you can reach out to me my mother was my only relative i feel that about her every day i, t I totally understand where you're at sweetheart thank you we're sending you so much love um, Alex, thank you for doing this with me. Where can people find you online, my friend? I am at www.alexandermay.com. That's M-E-I. And my Instagram is Alex May Today. Again, it's M-E-I. And I post all kinds of fun little sacred geometric inspirational uh, Instagram posts. And then that. if you want to 
connect with me to get a session either online or in person it's alexandermay.com beautiful let's do this again soon yeah girl. i would love it i'm sorry for everybody we didn't get to we had like 21 people waiting and we are so sorry if you want to get on a future show 818-437-0886 you can text me there or for a private session you can email me through um, at Sheena at sign I am raising your vibration dot com. I'm at I am raising your vibration dot com. Sheena Metal Spiritual dot com. And also um, uh, on social media everywhere at Sheena Metal. And I have a movement of peace, love, kindness and unity. I'm the founder of at I am raising the vibration dot com and raising the vibration dot org. You may contact me through any of those places. And of course, here at SheenaMetalExperience.com and LATalkRadio.com. It's the Sheena Metal Experience on LA Talk Radio. And you know what we do here, my friends. Every Monday through Friday, 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific time, we rip the veil off the human sideshow and expose those big old homo sapiens at their most bizarre occasionally, but mostly at their most beautiful every single day. And you know it's my show, and that is very true, my friends. It is, in fact, my show. But what it really is to me... Always and forever, it's your experience. Thanks for listening. Have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow right here on L.A. Talk Radio. Irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to L.A. Talk Radio.